Hello everyone, welcome to 4 Pixels. Coco and Kimmy here, and we are going to be starting Pyre, which is the newest game from a developer that we both love very much called Supergiant. Uh, they are the people yes. who made Bastion and Transistor. And Transistor, that Coco made me play and I cried a lot yes. while she laughed. Yes. <laughs> <laughs> it was wonderful watching you play. <laughs> but uh, let's just so. let's just go ahead and dive in, start campaign. It looks pretty. the volume uh -huh. just a little bit. Can't hear anyway, so... <laughs> Your days in the downside brought a slow, lonesome agony. Now as you lie yielding to the elements, something rumbles into view. Three shapes merge, each clad in strange attire. Downside, a vast purgatory into which the commonwealth casts its convicts and its enemies. None have been known to return from the Forsaken Land. Nito. Uh, Ooh. Ooh. Wanna take Masked Woman? <laughs> uh, sure. I mean, I'll try. Hmm. Another piece of filth expelled from the Commonwealth. Doesn't get much. Mask yet. something. <laughs> <laughs> something. <laughs> Just a something. See, right on schedule, what I tell you. You told us we will find someone alive. Someday. I said we'd find someone al alive someday. Just not today, I guess. But don't be glum. You know I see you frowning underneath that mask. Looks like she's breathing. The masked wanderers presume you are female. Interact to change this. That is really neat! Let me That's see nice. what happens if I click it. He's there? That is... Oh, the masked oh. wanderers presume nothing about your gender. Thank you, Super Giant. That's cool. Thank you so much. <laughs> see that? Oh, yeah. Alright. Let's go with there. Sure. Enough. It seems they still are. Then stand aside. I shall send Whoa. them to a better place. <laughs> Whoa! <laughs> My kind of woman. Oh, it's still breathing. Let's kill it. A better place? Name me a single better place than this. Tereulios. Hang on. The markings on their rag. I think they're one of them. But look at them. They are beyond our help, and we are beyond theirs. Yeah. Broken, shaking, starving, probably diseased. Yeah, good luck with that <laughs> there, chum. See you back at the wagon. <laughs> Indeed, the day grows dim. You have a, at best an Just hour. Just watch me. <laughs> Understood. Me. I won't be long. After the others leave, the man turns toward you and begins unfastening his mask. He's gonna help help you. You. Oh wow! Hello, my friend. Don't care who you are or what you did. None of that matters anymore. All of us were equal nothing over there. Here. Here, there, everywhere. You are parched, and he gives you a drink. You ache, and he binds your wounds. You hunger, and he gives you food. Little by little, it helps. 
Thank you, dude. See that, my oh, There. Turns out you're tougher than you look. Name's Hedwin. Now come on. Hedwin, he is one of the three masked wanderers who found you clinging to life in the downside. Hmm. I like how the other thing is. Oh yeah, it's really neat. You sense no ill intent as he helps you up and leads you to an old black wagon. Nothing like the stately vessels that parade Commonwealth criminals through alabaster streets. Commonwealth, a proud country risen from the ashes of a falling empire, home to a multitude of ethnic groups. Founded on the principles of mercy and kinship. Well, we see how good a job they're doing of that so far. <laughs> Whose exact meanings evolved through many centuries. Yeah, I imagine so. <laughs> Maybe they, they don't have the same meanings <laughs> that we do. Hedwin beckons you to enter the black wagon. Let's step inside. Ooh. Oh, this artwork. The book. <gasps> Breathe it. <laughs> Art! <laughs> The weather-beaten wagon is as much a mess inside as out. You see the masked woman and talkative creature <laughs> taking stock of an ancient-looking books. Do you want to take over one of the other two people since I'm doing the narrator? And that's a lot. Uh, sure. Who would you prefer, Hedwin uh, or the creature? <laughs> uh, I don't know, you... Just somewhat on the Alright, I'll, I'll continue with Hedwin. Okay, I'll, I'll try my best. I'm back. And with a guest. She loosens the clasp on her mask. Ooh. Oh my god! <sighs> uh, uh, I wanna marry horns. her! <laughs> You may call me. Uh, how do you say that? Jodario? Jodario? Okay, yeah, let's go with that. Jodario? She is the most imposing of the three masked wanderers who found you clinging to life. I want her to step on me. <laughs> <laughs> and as for myself. The small one struggles with his mask. Jodario soon assists him. Aww. It's a dog! <laughs> it's got a mustache! <laughs> Woof. It's a fancy dog. That is to say, you may regard me by the name of... Rookie Greentail? Rookie Greentail. <laughs> he is the small, smallest yet loudest of the three masked wanderers who found you clinging to life. So headwind... <laughs> Rookie and Jodario. <laughs> Such pleasantries out of the way, the horned woman then motions to the others. She glances at you sidelong as she speaks. That is so. Can they do it? Do what? I don't know, can I you can do, do it? it? Hope so. <laughs> you can I do it. Asked them yet. More than less fast. What? Then what are we waiting for? Lisa, Anastasi. <coughs> yeah, Tom. Nice meeting you and all, but tell me something. You know how to read no, or what? No, I've just been making up everything that's been going on. <laughs> <laughs> He's asking if you are a reader. Ooh, and Are you a reader? Over time, you managed to learn something of the old ways in spite of Commonwealth decree. Deny it. Literacy is a oh. serious crime. No one in their right mind would dare violate oh. the law of the land. Remain silent. Who you are or what you did to earn your sentence is no one's business but your own. So you were cast out because you're now I guess so. <sighs> you know, I really appreciate this. Because like a lot of times in visual novels or games similar to this, they give you all these options and you're never sure if there's actually a specific answer or if you're just making up your story as you go along so having like these little annotations to tell you yes you are in fact a reader is really nice yeah what do you think we should true. do i mean 
they kind of save yeah. your life. So clearly. Right. And they, they 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 seem to I mean they hope that you know how to read, so Okay. Admit it. I don't know. You confirm their suspicions. There is no use trying to hide it now. Good point. Let me well then, glory days, because it just so happens, my associates and I, we got ourselves some nice material here for someone just like just you. Just like me? We got out with Just like you. Reader, you still live thanks to us. We ask for something modest in exchange. Open one of those books back there and tell us what it says. Kogi Tenta. You want you, they want you to read them a bedtime story. Bed <laughs> I guess I shouldn't read The Boy Who Cried Wolf. <laughs> <laughs> Sorry to put you on the spot like this, my friend. No, oh, he caught us the friend. The exiles oh, indicate friendship. the books in their procession. Have a look. Go for the very obvious <laughs> white one in the light. <laughs> mm, no, I want to go for this one. <laughs> Side door, beyond lies the boundless downside. Even if you could run, you would not get far. Ooh, what are you guys? Rats? You steal a mask and run? Old Ryman's. I don't know if that's how you pronounce that. Colorful robes and ceremonial masks adorn one of the wagon's walls. <gasps> Look at the little bat thingies. Bat thingies? The, the bat, bat thingies. Is those thingies, the creatures. pink ones, they're adorable. <laughs> Hungry looking creatures roosting near some sort of attic. There's nothing you can do for them now. That's ominous. No! <laughs> Rickety ladder. It likely leads to the wagon's centrifuge, judging by the gibberish gibbering creatures up there. Intricate sigil. Ooh. A symbol Red of some sort candles. is set in the wagon's floorboard. You cannot sense its purpose. Hey, that's a dude. Oh, oh, it is. I didn't even notice <laughs> or a that. Person. Lone minstrel figures it's very <laughs> still in the corner of the wagon. Now is not the time to check on him. <laughs> Hi, right. it's a dude. Strange book. One of the several such heavy, ominous volumes. The exiles you met seem very interested in them. It's <laughs> vibrating. You pick up one of the old and heavy volumes, bound in materials you do not recognize. It's pretty. <sighs> I just love everything about this. The look, the music, everything. Yes. <laughs> I, to hear the music. I need to get this game to A formal welcome undersigned by the eight scribes. You, dear reader, are an exile of the downside. Such as we, the eight who wrote the Book of Rights, that you possess it and have capacity to clean its words is testament enough to your potential. Thus we reveal a path from this forsaken place to freedom, a homecoming in glory. The stars themselves shall be your guide. Ere the turning of the year's first solstice, seek the nearest longitude beneath the brightest of eight as a line as shown. Arrive at a triumvirate clad in the rhymes of the rites bearing this book. Oblige the voice that tells you more. Uh, do something else real quick. Mm -hmm. Alright. Right. Can you inspect it? Oh, this is just to help you. Oh, <laughs> yep. and you were forcing your eyes. Ooh, the rights. The book describes a complicated method through which exiles can return to the Commonwealth. The words swim through your mind as Hedwin gets your attention. And I think we will end that episode right there. Thank you guys for joining us. Okay.